hello welcome to everyone in this video this is the part 2 for the solution of nuclear and particle physics dsc paper of semester 5 under the university of calcutta this is actually question of 2021 uh, in part 1 we discuss question number 1 and in this part we want to discuss want to discuss question number 2 okay you can see this is the question format of this paper this is the question number one which we already discussed in part one and this is question number two which we want to discuss in this part and the upcoming part we will be we want to discuss in question four five uh, three four five six seven eight okay three four five six seven eight we want to discuss in the upcoming session okay so you try to solve this question very at, at first after that you continue the video was the solution first question which says define nuclear reaction cross-section on what factor does the nuclear reaction cross-section depends and this is a mathematics the nuclear reaction cross-section is that when it is, is material target material and if you ejected some particle and it scattered some particle and emitted some lesser number of particle compared to this one so there is a probability and event that take place a single particle bombard penetrate uh, perpendicularly to a target with one particle uh, per unit area so by definition this says that in a unit area unit cross-section area if you ejected a single particle with one particle per unit area is the uh, is the uh, material here that's mean one particle in a unit area in a unit area if you consider a one particle suppose there is a unit area and in this one particle is present and if you eject it if you bombard with a single particle then the probability that can be happen this event this actually known as the nuclear reaction cross section this actually this nuclear reaction cross section is depends on the energy of incident particle and the number density obviously and this number density means the size of the atom if the size of the atom is large then the collision probability or nuclear cross section will be large and reverse inversion and energy of bombarding particle if energy of bombarding particle is less then this cross section will be uh, higher there is uh, sorry lower the probability will be reduced right next portion says find out a mean free path find out a mean free path of a thermal neutron of cobalt 59 given density of this one is this, this is the density and reaction uh, cross section is 35 bar okay so given density is like that so the number of target nuclei per unit volume will be this density and this is the number of atom avogadro number per molar mass so this is 59 so mass will be 59 this you can see this is mass per volume and this is mass 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 cancel out so this will be number per volume that's why this is the number density because uh, number per unit volume this is the number density so after calculating you will be get the number density this one and the cross section is given 35 bond that is 10 to the power minus 20 meter square so the uh, mean free path will be like that 1 by sigma n put this value of sigma and value of n you will be obtained 3.1 per meter next is it possible to observe pair production of gamma ray in free space actually in free space we cannot observe the gamma production what is uh, pair production what is pair production pair production is that when a gamma particle decay into electron and a positron when a gamma particle decay into electron and positron is known as the pair production this pair production cannot be performed in free space it will perform in any medium why this cannot perform in free space because the energy of this gamma particle must be greater than the rest mass energy of the positron and electron so rest mass energy of the positron electron mg square so twice multiplication of twice is the uh, total energy required of the four of the gamma ray the, the, the if the energy of the gamma ray is uh, greater than equal to 2 m0 c square then this pair production actually occur in the conservation if you consider the conservation of linear momentum you can say this um, age new uh, particle uh, incidence so the momentum is age new by c 
and the um, electron and positron momentum are p so this is p cos theta p cos theta and this to cancel out so from momentum conservation you can see the h c y um, h nu by c equals to 2 p cos theta from here you will be get the h nu equal to 2 p cos theta so if you put p equals to m v m not v so this gives you m 0 6 m 0 6 square v y c this one so this is nothing but that one so you can see from energy this must be get a greater than equal to to m 0 square but here you can see this is less than so this cannot be possible that's mean in free space pair production is not possible because these two are contradict to each other this energy equation and momentum equation are contradict to each other to perform this pair production actually the uh, particle within the med medium uh, balance this momentum okay so momentum is balanced by the particle within medium but in free space there is no such uh, option as available so that's why in free space gamma ray does not uh, perform the pair production that means it gamma ray cannot uh, decay into electron and positron next part Next question is what is the prominent way to energy 200 Kelvin gamma ray passing through lead? When the 200 Kelvin gamma ray passing through lead, what happened? Actually, uh, this uh, uh, was actually observed, uh, absorbed, nothing else. Okay, because the minimum energy of gamma ray to get pair production is 2 into m0 square. If you put this value, you will be get 1.02 mv. For that, this is very less. That's why this amount of energy actually um, absorbed by this lead. Next question says, explain the working principle of the photo multiplier tube. In photo multiplier tube, actually what happened? The nuclear uh, particles, nuclear particles means alpha, beta, gamma, are incident on this uh, scintillation material. This is the scintillation material if you uh, put uh, or incident this particle within this material what happened phosphorescence like that if you uh, targeting on the phosphorescence material if we it emits uh, light and this emitting light uh, connecting or the incident on the photoelectric material that means when this light incident on this material it is an electron this electron accelerated by this Diodes. Diodes means the uh, with positive electrode, positive terminated electrode. So these are the diodes, and these electron which are ejected from this material is uh, accelerated through multiple diodes. Okay. So this is the actual mechanism where these are multiple diode are. So this increase the number of electron, and these are ac uh, accumulated, absorbed by the anode, and this anode gives a circuit diagram which gives you the flow of current. Uh, which helps to measure the number of count of incident particle. Okay, these are written here. You can just go through this. I think you can you understand the mechanism of this uh, PMT. Next verse says the secondary electron emission coefficient of each dynode uh, is uh, in a photomultiplicity is eight. That means when these are um, reaches from that yeah. one to that one to uh, increased by eight times if single uh, electron uh, absorbed here eight electron are ejected from here okay so this is the photomultiplier tube so for uh, tenth this will gives you eight to the power ten right so finally after ten diodes the number of electron will be eight to the power ten next why uh, explain why an electron cannot be accelerated in classical cyclotron you know in classical cyclotron this in a spiral path and this is oscillated within this gap where this frequency are matches but in case of electron this mass is very low mass is very low means its velocity is very high velocity is high means radius is very high that means you required a large size of cyclotron and with a few times its velocity will be very much increased and which gives you the relativistic limit so this actually arises problem in case of the light weight element in the cyclotron so in cyclotron we cannot measure the uh, we cannot accelerate actually the electron that's why in replacement there is uh, originate or uh, are available the beta tron beta tron actually to accelerate the beta particle beta particles means electron okay how this work actually in this region you can see 
uh, these two are this one electron are enter and this is eject and in this region this is the side view and this top view will be get star person that's mean this is in this is out and like that okay so when this electron in injected in this region it will uh, circulate in the path why you know from the mechanism uh, that is the velocity of this electron is like that when this magnetic field is changed when this magnetic field is changed such that the velocity also increase if you increase the magnetic field with increasing the velocity the uh, radius will be the same so in the same radius the electron uh, energy can be increased with this uh, with the vari variation of the magnetic field okay actually uh, here these two type of force are exerted that is the Lorentz force due to this magnetic field and there is a electromagnetic induction uh, that is due to the change in the current because when the speed of the electron increase then the current also increase and this current increasing change is gives you the uh, uh, flux density change which gives you the electromotive force EMA produced within this circuit. So these two effect actually gives you the uh, balanced condition and finally will be obtained the high speed electron with the same radius because here these uh, applied magnetic field also increase and magnetic field also increased and uh, this uh, you can see here this relation this relation gives you the if you magnetic field increase and the velocity of the particle increase with the same radius the velocity of the particle can be increased if you increase the uh, applied magnetic field that's the principle of the beta tron and beta tron is uh, actually named as for for the beta particle it is used for beta particle that's been used for electron okay so uh, this is actually for electron uh, replacement for instant of the cyclotron next question says explains saturation in the average biotic energy nucleon from short range nature of nuclear force actually in the very low number of atomic uh, atomic mass number then there is less number of electron and proton so there is uh, uh, no uh, effect of repulsion that's why there is a reduced value due to low uh, number of particle that is the uh, attraction is low there is few number of particles so uh, the attraction also low strong force also low but when increase the number of particles strong force increases up to a certain level and you know this is a short range so up to a short range region up to a certain range of, of the radius this is increased after that is become saturated with uh, increasing the number uh, size this nuclear force also reduces so finally they are balanced to each other okay so this is the explanation you can uh, see this written here next thing is says so explain the beta decay in terms of quark model in the quark model you know that is the uh, that is the neutron can be uh, so neutron can be written as up down down proton is down up up and this is beta and this is neutrino anti neutrino okay so from this relation you can see this proton can be changed into electron uh, neutron can change into proton plus um, but, uh, uh, this is the beta beta decay and this is anti neutron okay so i think you can read these things that's it for today this is all about me this is my contact detail you can connect me this telegram channel this is my youtube channel details go to the channel we get different fees related video some mathematics like this session if you learn something for this session share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you are new in this channel those already subscribed thanks for subscribing press the bell icon to get notification of our video so take care we'll meet you in the next video thank you